So some poultry producers uh, like to base their uh, exposure to CAD uh, on, to natural infection. And this is because uh, every house will be positive for CAD, uh, uh, you know, unless the house is new, unless this is a recently um, manufactured house, uh, the, the house will be positive. So um, the problem of natural infection is that not all houses are homogeneously or don't have the same concentration of virus per square meter or square feet. So um, there will be a difference between um, houses and there will be even differences between, within the house in terms of exposure uh, of the birds to the virus. And this just shows what I'm just um, telling you. This is um, flocks, breeder flocks in Arkansas. And this is several different flocks as you see here from A to S. And we took samples from uh, of about between uh, 20 and, and 30 chickens from each flock and tested that by ELISA using an IDEX, IDEX kit. We use it one in 10 dilution so that um, this is a competitive ELISA. So values over 0 0.6 are considered negative. Uh, virus below 0 0.2 are considered protective titers. Everything in between is positive and can be higher or lower titers. As you see here, we, we have several flocks that show a few animals that are negative for, IV anti for CAV antibodies. In general, 53% of flocks, 10 out of 19, show uh, SN ratios less than 0 2. So that, that's 53%. But 47%, so 9 of 19, show individuals with SN ratios less or higher than 0 6 meaning they are negative for CAV antibodies. And this is a problem because these birds will indeed uh, be uh, susceptible to infection during the laying period and may transmit the virus to the progenies. I always like to show uh, the same values that I just showed you, showed you um, using a bar graph uh, because um, it is important for you to, to see that if you use a bar graph, all these values will seem very nice, very nicely positive. But indeed, they are not. As I showed you before, these values, these uh, flocks, do have some birds that are uh, antibody negative. So you don't want to see a bar graph if you are evaluating your flocks. Unless you see, you would see the error with the bars. In comparison, this is a flock, these are flocks, actually grandparents, uh, grandparent drivers, uh, Brother grandparents, I'm sorry, which were vaccinated uh, at 12, 12 weeks of age. And you see here that um, most of the values are within the positive range, with just one flock showing a couple of birds that were negative. In this case, 71% of flocks, uh, so 5 out of 7, show mean values, mean SN ratios less than 0 2, which are nicely positive, and only 14%, 1 out of 7, showed individuals with SN ratios higher than 0 0.8. And I'm saying 0 0.8 because in this case, we diluted the sample from 1 to 100. But if you compare, if you would use the average and the uh, standard error of the mean um, and compare between the vaccinated birds and the natural infection, you would see that there is no difference. This graph shows, um, I put here all the values of those vaccinated flocks and all the values of the naturally infected flocks. And you see there is no real difference in terms of average and standard error of the mean. So to really find out what difference is in terms of homogeneity, uh, what I did was, I, I'm here I'm showing you the mean and standard error of the mean of the standard error of, the, of each flock. And here you can see really that the vaccinated birds were really homogeneously uh, positive for, for CAD antibodies, while the naturally infection infected birds were not as homogeneously uh, um, positive.